Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BIOAQ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. <laughs> I let you this time frame thing is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very nice bounce. I mean, when you consider where the price was at its low points, and then you look at where the price ultimately closed, any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the bulls definitely made a very nice move on the day, very nice bounce. But that does lead to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this bounce? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And that level is down here at 0.036. Why is 0.036 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly. So with that in mind, think about 0.036. Any sort of closes below it or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price comes down here, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have that set of lows right there. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And in this situation, I am just defining and quantifying that statement, make progress as 0.036. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, pretty straightforward at this point in time. It's all about that purple line right there, the famous 50 period simple moving average. You can see back there, it also acted as resistance, also acted as resistance right there. I know I talked about this in yesterday's video. So while I'm not saying it's impossible for the price to break above there, I'm just saying it makes sense why the price did actually struggle you know, around that area of the chart. But any way you look at it, very, very nice bounce today going into the weekend. So yeah, let's see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.